A tragic update now. A man has died following a house fire in New Bedford. We first told you about the fire on Eyewitness News at 10 last night. The victim was taken to St. Luke's Hospital after firefighters pulled him out of the building. Neighbors tell us he was trapped. Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Schaefer is live now from the scene. Brittany, what are investigators saying tonight? Well, Sheena, the second floor where the chief tells me the man was trapped is boarded up tonight. He says the closest fire station to this home is a half a mile away, but that engine couldn't respond. Investigators confirm Saturday night's fire has turned fatal. The man trapped inside this burning home died from his injuries. Neighbor Linda Mello tells me she saw fire trucks and went outside. And then when I looked at the side and I seen fire coming out of the window and then a pile of smoke. I went, oh my God, the house is on fire. Still shaking about the whole incident. This is the first time in all my life. I'm 73 years old and I've never been this close to a fire like this and it, it was devastating. It really was. I feel so bad. New Bedford Fire Chief Paul Coderre tells me the closest fire station was blacked out Saturday night. According to a release from the local 841 Union, Engine 7 was not staffed due to budgetary cuts from City Hall. They say in a release, we strongly stand behind maintaining a full and functional fire department for the citizens of New Bedford. The closest responding station was a mile further than engine seven. The details were similar in another fatal fire earlier this year. New Bedford Fire confirms the closest station was also blacked out when crews were called to Coffin Avenue back in October. In that case, an elderly woman died. Mello tells me it's concerning. The closest one was blacked out and it took them longer to get here. I, yes, that's awful. The money they're getting paid, they should keep them all open. We never know what could happen. That goes to prove a point. If maybe if they could have got here faster and got that man out, he'd be alive today. And the cause of this fire is under investigation. I did reach out to the mayor's office to learn more about the blackouts and I'm waiting to hear back. Live in New Bedford, Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News.